Alright, let's get this butthole at the end of the Oh, that's Alright. Back to rocket launches in the face. I just, the Nikita was just always. I don't understand how this guy survived. My survive. favorite weapon. I don't either. They're getting a bomb to the face. It's Maybe another you guy. Recruit him. He's running. Oh, do you? Slap a Fulton on him. Get him out of there. Yeah, I think he's dead now. Well, he's now you have no recruits. Right? If he's not, then you're not gonna win. You might as well quit. Uh, the music stopped, so it seems like a good sign. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, look how look how big my health bar is. You're just bragging. I know. Blah! Man, he took a, he took like a, like a sixty cal right to the face. Ah. Ration. Let me in there. So what does Liquid do once you get in there? He's just like, oh, that, that's oh, the end of that. Shit. <laughs> He's just like, I, I guess I'm just I gonna hang out. Go in that right? fucking room. Go in the door. I should have thought of that. He just lands. I should have raised the level of that door. <laughs> Question. We gotta go fix the elevator. We did promise some deep throat action. All right, call me, make me a liar if you want. Who are you trying One, to call? Two. Wait, oh, yeah. a little bit off. Snake, he's all stubbly. What are you talking about? There's something I've got to ask you. Well, what is it? It's so important, um, dude. We're on the radio. <laughs> Just ask me. Oh, I'll ask you when I see you. Bye. Wait a minute. I don't know why, but my mind immediately went to uh, Boogie Nights. Could I kiss you? <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that Otacon's a little awkward? There's a lot of love between these two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of love. And it's only going to get better. In the worst way. Yep. Yeah. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. I that put the hug. iris. What's up? It's, yeah, it's got like that fatal frame sort of uh, vignette effect going on. Serious Yeti. Yeah. And it's just in this area on the stairwell. I don't. I never quite got that. Why they did. Kind of feels like somebody's watching him. Yeah, like a security camera. But again, it adds to that whole survivor horror feel of this. But I always wondered why it was just in this hallway. Oh, you can hear is the well, wind. Well, it is yeah. kind of a spooky, um... Spooky! It is kind of a spooky, uh, like, part of the game. Yeah. Those things kind of don't, aren't what they seem. Hmm. The howling wind outside. The, the colors. And then it's gone. Huh? See, like, the music... Oh, I see what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about, okay. yeah. Oh, I think it's supposed to be that... Yeah, I think it is that you are being watched. So, Josh, there is something to that. Don't shoot! It's me, don't shoot! And that's not what I was talking it's about. It's me, Snake! <laughs> shoot! <laughs> oh my god, it's on fire! <laughs> blows him away. Believe me, I'm afraid of heights. That doesn't you surprise any of us. <laughs> we believe it. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. Yeah, it seems really <laughs> fucking useful. <laughs> they were holding on to it. For face. some reason. <laughs> First floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Something's up. <laughs> Something's up. I'm gonna lean onto this wheel. <laughs> Look at his arm. Like so his arm was going into the railing. <laughs> <laughs> like a movie work. hero or something. You're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. Oh, God. Uh, I forgot how mopey. Snake can be like a little teenager sometimes. Snake. Here it comes. Really Here it comes, see. guys. It's why I followed you up this far. <laughs> Fix his glasses. It's like his trademark. Have his French fry fingers. Loved someone? No. That's what you came to ask. No, I mean I. I yes. was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. Wow. What are you trying to say. <laughs> I want to ask you. So is uh, Snake really like in a panic right now? Blue? Even on a I don't think so. That's I a think classic so. line right there. Yeah, I oh do. Sassy hips. sassy hips. I, I, my favorite thing about this is just how instantly he's just like, "What are you talking about?" And then, yeah, I do think love can. 
He, he's, he goes from being that impatient snake to being that, tell me all about it snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very um, uh -oh. open what? about his emotions. Well, I think it, maybe it's because if he hadn't seen oh, Meryl just get you? shot, he wouldn't even be entertaining uh, this conversation. True. Okay. Maybe it's on his mind, too. I want you to yeah, but I was going to say, do you think he's in a panic? Like, oh, what's he asking you here? Or is he like, all right, out of care. Yeah. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? I feel like the way it's phrased is like to intentionally make the player be like, "What's he getting at?" Yeah, yeah. I've got to go. Uh, you know that probably is a, a joke on the part of the um, localization team, because like we talked about Johnny having his uh, underwear drawn off, so it looks like he's naked. That's probably a joke that they did. You really look like hell. If I do this, it doesn't matter. That's right. I just pretend. Look like hammered shit, Icon. Hammered shit. That's right, Otacon. Just blend into the wall. Fucking loser. It's weird. He's floaty. He yeah. Runs. He's light. I think like it's supposed air. to looks like when Predator runs in the movie. If you watch when he runs, it looks really like like uh, weightless. Mm -hmm. It's just a really I that part always took me out of it. What a weird conversation to have in the middle of the game. Yeah, we were talking. It was like a really suspenseful, kind of creepy part, and then fucking Ocelot wants to talk to you about love. Snake, what is love? I've heard about this love. Well, at the time I played this as a kid, like, all these concepts were so much more, in my mind, mature than my yeah. age. So, like, it was all, like, super impressive to me. You're like, like they're love, talking about gross. love, what? What? This all seemed, like, super serious, and I took it, like, dead serious when I was, like, however old I was when I was playing this. I'm sure it's not as clunky in the Japanese version as well. Well, like I was telling you when I was playing Rising, that the Japanese version seems to be a lot more, or take itself more seriously than yeah. the English version. Well, At least hearing the tone of the voices and yeah. the way it's played up, it sounds like it's a little more serious. Yeah, because Japanese humor doesn't really translate to English very well, because Japanese humor can be very dry. Japanese humor, a lot of the times, especially Kojima's sense of humor, it's very wacky, but not necessarily in the delivery. It's like ironic. Like it, it takes you a second to connect that something very silly happened in this very serious moment. And I think that sometimes the people who do the localization on the games have a hard time of conveying that humor, and so they make it more slapstick on our end, or more goofy. Yeah. Whereas in the Japanese versions, uh, they say these outrageous things with very straight faces, and that's why it's famous. Like that's why it's supposed to be funny. Uh, the guy who does the voice of Snake in the Japan ver Japanese version, he's actually a famous Japanese actor, and he's famous for being tough guys. For playing tough guys and really cool, like really cool guys. The, the equivalent I would I would say is like the guy who does the voice of uh, Spike in Cowboy Bebop. He's like really laid back and chill. That's kind of what Snake is supposed to be in the Japanese version. And when he says things that are really silly, it's like doubly silly because he's such a serious guy. And that just really doesn't translate. And I'm sorry, David Hayter is great for what he does, but that doesn't really come across in his portrayal. He's kind of doing it from a different way. Sorry, he just said the snake just finally came out of the hole. I just thought I'd bring that up. <laughs> snake has finally come out of the closet. Because that's what he was doing. Maybe that's why he left earlier and he's, when he went in the door and he's like, I'll come back later. It's because he knew Otacon was in there and they're going to have a little moment. Uh -huh. in, uh, in Rising, there's a, there's a poop joke in sweet, the English version. Sweet poop jokes. Um, but in the Japanese version, it's not a poop joke. Really? Uh, what joke is it? Is it, is it a well, joke? Or is it's, it? a, it's a joke about hacking. And oh. in the American version, it's played up as a poop joke. <laughs> and in the English version, or the Japanese version, it is um, a more innocent joke. It's about trying to hack into something, and Doctor is telling you, um, in order to hack into it, you'll need, first need a springboard. And Raiden says, I don't know, I can jump pretty high. So it's a pun. Right. Yeah. And whereas in the English version, it's a poop joke. Uh, well, I poop a lot. It's like that? Like, just something dumb? Well, it, specifically, I can tell you what it is, but... Uh, <laughs> well, wait, save that for the fans when we get to that point. Yeah. We'll actually have to, like, call back to that when we play Rising. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'll definitely yeah. mention it again when we get there. Uh, but yeah, it's a poop joke. A year from now. Japanese when it's a little more innocent. Also, this is pretty cool for the time. I mean, we're definitely going to see a lot more fights. There's, like, three fights like this in the second game, aren't there? Something like that. 
this holds up pretty well as being kind of like futuristic, you know, having the lock on and having like the meters on the side. Mm -hmm. God damn it. The range, yeah. Yeah, because there's a, a complete recreation of this fight in the second game, which I don't feel it comes off as well. But the funny thing is that this is actually a remake of a fight from Solid Snake. Everything in this fucking game is a remake from Solid Snake. I'm just gonna say it now. But there's actually a, fu a part, and I said this earlier, where you're fighting a Hind D and you destroy it by throwing grenades at it. And it's kind of the same thing where you have to, like, you lock on the grenades and you run from side to side of the screen and it comes in the middle. But it's pretty much the same scenario. You can quick equip, uh, Dora. Uh, you can? Because it's not really let. Oh, what? What was I thinking? Something stupid. Oh, oh liquid. Oh, what? That's high praise coming from liquid. No, I shot. No, I, I imagine he very rarely Shut gives up, out Blondie. compliments. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering this too. Is is liquid naturally blonde? I mean, it would it would seem so from the Phantom Pain trailer if that is liquid. Or I um, would think so. Why wouldn't he be? Because he's a twin. He's supposed to be Snake's yeah, twin. Yeah, he's the one that got all the recessive genes. Would yeah. that mean that he uh, got all the? Or did he? Oh, I don't know. So, so it's it's weird. Well, yeah, they have slightly different genes, so it, it would stand to reason that one of them might be blonde, the other might be. Well, because his hair looks really, really like platinum. Yeah. Like bleach. Like he's doing it because the idea is that Liquid's supposed to be kind of a punk. And they really do play that. If if who we think it is in the trailer for the fan of pain is him, he really has that sort of punk persona. He even has like the trench coat and everything. Um, his so best with all his patches on it. Yeah, I mean, because in Japanese, rebellion is very different than it is in Western style. I mean, it's based on Western styles. Because everyone in Japan has mostly black hair. When you dye your hair blonde, it's really saying something. It's really like I'm unique and I'm different. I'm not like the rest of you. And that really seems like it's that's Liquid's deal, like trying to stand out and make sure, show that he's not Snake, because he's always like I was saying earlier, he's always lived in the shadow of Snake's success. So I think there's a, it stands to reason that his hair is bleached blonde, but that's like really, that's one of those that's another speculative thing that you just left to wonder. I feel like he wouldn't bleach it, but yeah, I don't. Feel maybe like that's that the message be. behind it, even though it's not like dyed. Yeah, it's the message they, behind it. Like, he just he naturally stands out. Yeah, oh, but that's he is true. just different than Snake. You know, he was in Poison, though. So I mean, he even yeah, <laughs> he even has an English accent. I did so. the fake, the fake, the most fake English accent in the universe. Not in the universe. Oh, Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, okay. Dick Van Dyke's getting covered. That's basically what he's telling himself. At least I'm not as bad uh -huh. as Dick Van Dyke. He's getting pretty damn close though. Nice shot. Yeah. Nice shot. I just told myself, nice shot. Man, I almost had him down one time fighting him, and I shot a rocket like close to that thing and accidentally hit it, and killed myself. I've yeah, that, that happened before. to you the last I time you played so it. Yeah, I was actually just thinking that. I almost had him beaten. I did that. I was like, please don't do that, Dora. You're gonna look like such a moron. Please don't do that. <laughs> Glad you brought that up, cause. Cause you wanted to tell everyone how much of a moron you look like. And um, how more uh, Josh is as well. So Good touche. That really worked out. Take that, Josh. <laughs> Liquid, you're really bad at shooting, man. Yeah, he's really... <laughs> you gotta get in front... You gotta have a line of sight on me to hit me, man. <laughs> you can't just shoot at stuff. You should explain to him how he could do a better job of killing you. Also, why can't you just use the Nikita? I know why as a gameplay mechanic, but it seems to make sense that you would be able to use a rocket that would follow him around. Control? Yeah. yeah. It's like he got hit by the rocket. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Instead of the actual, like, the helicopter. It's just, you know, he is an extent. the helicopter is an extension of him. He's just one with the, uh, the hindy. One <laughs> with the hindy. Stalin, Stalin. Get your ass up here, like what? Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, he's over here now. He's actually running from you. No. Right. You button reading son of a I bitch. I feel like <laughs> this fight takes way longer than it should. It is really, it is really drawn out. 
Well, Whoa. at least it didn't hit myself. Yeah. I'm not sure what it hit, but it didn't hit me. Oh, that's right. Like, even in Die Hard, that scene is talking about where he's on the rooftop and it explodes, there is someone in a helicopter shooting at him. Huh. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Ah. That's such bullshit, it doesn't let you lock on. Cheater. Well, I'm yeah. out of bullets, too. He Let's cheated. See here. I think there's some over here. Use harsh language. Uh, poop. Oh, harsh. I know. Sorry. Oh, what a dickhole. Dick bag. I should have just kept to what I knew, which is this thing as a shield. Wow. Whoa. He's gonna be pretty far down. Yeah. He knows it, too. I know. Fucker. He's gonna go into hiding now. He's gonna draw this out for another ten minutes. I'm on liquid. It's just those, uh, Poke your head up. Like Smile, you son of a bitch. A lot more damage. <laughs> Wait, he, that was weird. Yeah, he yelled before it even hit him. He knew it was coming. <laughs> Where is it? Oh. It's kind of like your little brother when you are like oh, picking yeah. on him and then you're like, ow, you're like, I didn't even hit you yet. <laughs> <laughs> he was just prepping himself. That's what it is. It's, yeah. Probably, so in this scenario, know? would Liquid be the one who's saying, I can't breathe? Yeah. I can't breathe. Ow! I didn't even hit you, Liquid. <laughs> Where'd it go? I think you got him. Got him on the ropes. The only, thing to, on. only thing to do now is explode yourself. Like a true badass. He's gonna pop up. He's gonna pop up there. Oh my god, that was so close. Uh, I really you thought you were yourself. <laughs> I really thought you were gonna do it. Oh yeah, gotta do this part. He's gonna blow everything up. I have no bullets. I should be fine here. How do you survive that? I think you just run away from that area. No, but I mean, like in the like in the game lot, like in the universe oh, of oh, the game. Like, in, how in do you actually life. survive yeah. being destroyed? <laughs> Video games. Damn. I'm getting some sweet vibration over here. Yeah. Yeah. What about the game? Um. Yeah, I guess the game too. But... Okay. <laughs> he just watches it burn. Like, all right. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Moving on. Huh. Hey, my French fry finger. That takes care of the cremation. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -oh. oh my God, that was a sweet Arnold Schwarzenegger quote. Well, I need some sunglasses. Should have come down. Oh, I think so too. Takes just from the, the sky. Yeah. That takes care of the cremation. Uh, Is he actually smoking? No, that's... Uh, it looked like, he looked like he was holding up a cigarette to the like, like, like it was after sex. Yeah. The elevator's working. That's oh, good. that's great. That's real great. That's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's oh, you fix a now. fucking elevator. Mm. So, well, he's a fucking, like, ro he, like he's not a mechanic. <laughs> he works on robotics in mechs, you know? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's yeah, incredible, that's Snake. Listen. I've done thought, it, like, three times. I thought I was actually going out here to swat a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's funny that Otacon is impressed by it, but in the context of the series, that's literally the third time he's fought a Hind D. Right. So at this point, he's just fucking, I, I do it every day. <laughs> every seven years, I have to fight a Hind D. Give me a day where I don't fight a Hind D. <laughs> okay, call me if you need to. All right, next episode of our medical year, we're going to take an elevator straight to hell. More deep-throating. Quit promising that.